the mortal artillery unit commander called me. Max, we are out of shells. We are fucked. Screw me, I say, I know where to get some, but we need to drive there. He immediately asked where it's in Klishkivka or Avdivka. I said somewhere in between. We drove through the fog, then got out and fired around 20 shells. That's what I call work. They fucking tell me, Max, we have shells, but they are in the swamp. I don't give a fuck, I'm not afraid of leeches. I went there, put my socks on, and dressed. Two square meters. Two square meters. It was up. I collected some shells and distributed them. These are for the 54th Brigade, these are for Carrot. This is for you. In a while, it was hilarious. There were crates, but no shells inside. What the fuck? And there was this well in the middle. I looked into it and found the shells. <laughs> Jackpot! Went down the well and pulled out 50 kilogram shells from it, just like that. This machine transported over two and a half thousand of Russian 152 millimeters shells. I have a... I have a map. Direct supply from the Russian Ministry of Defense. No need to look for a better vehicle. This one is enough. It just needs some repairs. The cable broke again at high speed. The situation is that we lack ammunition. All ammunition we use is Russian from A to Z. At first I sort the shells. I select all the ammunition. I don't have time to destroy ammunition. I leave nearby whenever I found. The emergency services take what I won't be able to reuse. I saw the ammunition suitable for utilization. Pass it to the division commander, and then division commander examines them again. All these shells were brought into our country's territory by the Russian occupying authorities and their occupying forces. It was left behind during our counteroffensive and certain maneuvers. Once the shells were inspected by sappers, what could be taken, we took it, loaded it, brought it, cleaned it and sent to the firing positions to return it to the occupiers. I took responsibility and I cut up a 152mm shell. It wasn't usable, I use only good ones to fire at Russians. Russian bloody shell. I wanna stress that this was fucking Russian shell. 152mm cluster ammunition with 8 smaller bomblets inside. This can be used in 8 FPV drones. FPV drone. What is an FPV drone? I see future in it. Because, damn. Earlier we could only drop anti-barrel grenades, but now we can, excuse me, attach this beauty to it. Such a beauty. I can burn any bunker. 
For me, 90 centimeters thick concrete wall is not even an obstacle. Жоба новая, сколько у вас штук осталось еще? Каждый из вас по 5 штук должен сделать. Ко мне ездят up to five brigades come to me every day. And so every day throughout these two years of full scale war. The factory of death is my brainchild. The factory of death is, how to say, it's a scream of the fucking soul. I've wanted a factory for a long time, but I didn't want it looked like this. I want everything to be proper. To have TNT melting in a closed room, to have ventilation, to have it fenced off, to maintain the temperature regime like in a fish tank so that the engineers assemble the whole line correctly. And my scream of the soul was multi-cookers. It's forbidden, I know, I shouldn't do this, but there is no other way. The sacrifice of one, two, three people is nothing compared to a hundred who could die there. Why we are doing all this? What's it all for? I'll never f***ing forgive them for how many of our guys died. I'll never give up. Should I just turn around, surrender? My mom has cancer. Mommy, I'll be sitting calmly next to you. Fuck that, not me. I am the only one in the brigade who has a storage of tank mines. I got 1,200 pieces. I will have 5,000 by summer.